It's Snoopa Palooza. The administration snooping on tea parties, reporters like our own James Rosen, people with cell phones that gave out for free. Scotty Nellieu says it is nuts, it is out of control, and it goes on and on and on, Scotty. Well, let me just say this. You know, we here, I live in the South. In fact, I think they teach Snooping 101 at our local community college. So we pride ourselves on being great snoopers here. But I'll be honest with you, there's a reason why James Madison put this in the First Amendment of our Bill of Rights, because he realized if the freedom of speech, and more importantly, the freedom of the press was ever taken away, all other freedoms following would soon be taken away as well. And we're seeing that more and more. And I don't think this is necessarily just a case of, you know, the freedom of press being targeted away. More importantly, this is being used as kind of intimidation for other journalists not to ever think about going up against the administration. Do you think, Matt, the flip side happens, though, you would think normally that people would hear this and say, no more, none of this nonsense. I think they're even more intimidated by organizations like the IRS, especially if they get a letter, said, wow, look what these people did. We're Americans, we're not intimidated, right? Who's, who's going to tell us what we can't do? At some point, get You're off my lawn. You're not intimidated, you get an IRS envelope? Yeah, I am. I, uh, I, I don't even understand it, so I have to right. send a check to someone. It's very common. You notice every letter is capitalized? At, at, when you email that way, it's supposed to mean something. What does it mean when capitalize an email? Well, get, watch out. Right. The punctuation, too. It yeah. means you're shouting. For me, for me, it, is that what? Okay, gotcha. Journalists uh, go to the First Amendment card for uh, understandable reasons because it's applicable, but it's the Fourth Amendment that has really been eroded with all of this. It's the reasonable expectation to privacy. It is the rights to be protected against search and seizure. This has been systematically eroded in a bipartisan way over you're the right last 40 that. years, especially with the drug war, but also in the last 12, 13 years with the response to 9 11. We have created this atmosphere in which now we have a Democratic president who is happy to preside over an apparatus that is snooping into millions, not tens of thousands, not tens, but millions of private individuals' phone records and cell phone records without us even being able to know whether or not the Justice Department or anyone else is doing it. That's frightening. That's the world that we lived in and that both parties have legislated into being. And until we unlegislate it, nothing, nothing is safe. Professor, do you think that technology did this, that made it easier to do this, and made it also much more frightening? It made it easier, but it's funny you mentioned technology because technology is like security. When it goes right, it's invisible and it's seamless and we take it for granted. When it goes wrong, it calls attention to itself and then we start to complain. So I say that no, we because... we still like the technology. We're not using it any less, even though we know there might be other eyeballs watching. True, true, true. But snooping does some good. Presumably it's snooping that helped us catch the Boston bomber suspect. So as a society, we're feeling our but way But that's through. the battle, right? I mean, and, and, yeah. and Scotty, I think that's what you were saying at the outset here, that we, we, we have this tug of war and this balancing act between keeping us safe and then, you know, realizing that in order to keep us safe, we compromise some things along the way. Well, and with all due respect to my fellow panelists, I'm going to have to disagree. There is a huge, now granted rights are rights, but there is a huge difference between the government listening in to somebody talking about their grandmother's cookie recipe and a journalist like those at Fox News who are known to really speak out against the Obama administration. And truly, you can see, you don't see this coming against some of the other networks that are very liberal leaning. You see this coming out against Fox and some of the key people at Fox. And Neil, I mean, honestly, if I were you, have you checked your phones being bugged? You know, nobody right now is truly safe mean? from this. Well, you don't know. Yeah, right. Because well, they're using it, it as going, intimidation. Uh, I'm sorry, Scott. Where is it all going? Well, there'll oh. be a, a backlash because it's against the press. And it's not just Fox. It's the Associated Press, which is a backbone organization. Uh, the press is self-interested, so they're going to, uh, to fan the flames of this for a while. I don't know. The press professor was always saying, uh, leak all you want when it came to stuff on Osama bin Laden. And, and we know we're not going to get in trouble because it makes the administration look good. Now mm -hmm. stuff that comes out where we leak it and it isn't making the administration look good, we get targeted. Well, they better watch out. They don't want to encourage that double standard because when we you... We lived with that double standard. Yeah. That, well, As that's he a, said, through that was all types of administrations. Thing. That was a bad thing. That's a bad thing. So the press should always be against these invasions Yeah, but what privacy, we, we've no seen other presidents leaves. use, let's say the IRS, and it, just, it, doesn't, it seems like administrations take turns doing this stuff. You're but right. never it's to this extent. It's bipartisan. Well, it's bipartisan. Well, you're right. Not to this degree. You're not, not, you're not to this degree. But we don't know. Is it, is it a Watergate deal to you? No. No, no, no. no Watergate deal to you? It's Here's the deal. Thing. Nixon would never have been. None of, Nixon would, if we had the same press back then as we have now, we oh, probably. Oh, well, we don't know. We don't exactly, know. Exactly. Who knows if it's now? Good night.